Hey guys, welcome back to the Pixel Cherry Ninja channel. Today we are having a look at Rainbow Islands, which I think is a very, very good game. And if you've not checked it out, you really, really should. So Rainbow Islands, your main attack is, well, a rainbow uh, where you kind of traverse again, uh, traverse across seven islands. Uh, it's got, it's just, I don't know, I don't know how to kind of describe this game. It's it kind of, it's the story of Bubble Bobble 2 and it retains some of that Bubble Bobble kind of single screen thing. But instead of like going um, horizontally across, you kind of go vertically across and it's got some really, really good power up. So uh, personally, I've always liked, so that little red uh, potion up the top there gives you another rainbow. You can have like a maximum of three rainbows. I've always liked two rainbows and that little potion there, I'm really sorry with the colours, I think it's yellow or green, uh, I'm just colour blind, that makes your rainbow faster. Now that for me, when I played this game, uh, and I played this a lot on the Amiga, was the optimal attack. I like two rainbows because there's a maximum number of rainbows you can have on the screen simultaneously. Uh, so when you're trying to climb up vertically, you're kind of building layers of rainbows that you're kind of almost like rainbow steps like you're seeing over there so when you've got two rainbows that that to me seems like the best trade-off for how many you can have on the screen at once and uh, you know how how many you can do to kind of climb up ver uh, vertically whereas when you have three uh, the maximum you can have with three is kind of three steps uh, obviously they're longer steps but there's only three so if you're in sticky situations where you're attacking um and you're using uh, those um you're using um using those rainbows then you end up falling quite a bit i mean some people may uh like it a little bit different personally for me it was it was all about the double rainbow man <laughs> omg it's a double rainbow who remembers that video uh, anyway back onto this so uh, I can't remember what you get with a diamond. So you collect like the diamonds, all the different color ones, and then they all start flashing at the bottom. But I can't remember what it gives you. Here we go. So we've got like the three rainbows here. We've got like the speed power up. It's fast. Those stars are really handy as well. You've got the yellow ones that only fire like in the up direction. And you've got the red ones that fire like up and down, left and right, like a 360 direction. Um, really like like the art direction in this. I like the way like the levels. Um, we'll like, kind of have a look at the first kind of three main stages and parts from it so this is like the first stage so uh, we'll just keep it playing we'll keep it we'll keep it rolling a little bit longer and uh, if I'm not mistaken now I should be approaching a boss yeah okay let's uh let's have a look at this a boss and hopefully um, I can just do it on this try I can't remember I shot this video so many times uh, in the end on RetroArch I kind of liked using this filter okay that was relatively easy so the three rainbows just made uh, this boss, boss battle really really easy but the first boss isn't really hard it just kind of bounces around and, and you can dodge him quite easily but the bosses are quite imaginative uh, they're quite good and there's a variation uh, of them but this is definitely definitely something you guys should check out and honestly like I am so looking forward to this um, on the mister and the analog pocket you know whenever that time comes but uh this is moving on to the second world uh so the first one was like insect based the second one was uh, the second one is uh, as we're seeing now kind of like more vehicle based uh what we've got as well um there was another power up that i just collected a few seconds ago uh, if, if anyone i remember seeing and that was the shoe that increases uh, your speed so that increases your character speed which is quite which is quite a handy one to have uh, as you can see it gets a little bit trickier so so as it as it gets um, you know it, it does get a little bit tricky as you go along and, and like most games the levels uh, do get harder but i don't feel this game's unfair you know i remember playing this on the amiga and uh, it was it was responsive that's the shoe power up i was uh, i was uh, talking about um and uh, yeah so the way you kind of attack your enemies you either if while you're firing your rainbow if they get hit by the rainbow kind of fire uh, you're good but most commonly you're kind of going to fire a rainbow above them and then you are going to kind of jump over that rainbow to kind of crash it down very very interesting mechanics in this game uh, but let's uh, let's have a look at let's have a look at the second boss and uh, have a look at the third level that's kind of like what i shot for the video and uh, you know just so you guys can have a look and you know the final four stages if you decide to play it then uh, you're on your own and uh, have a lot of fun going through there and checking them out but yeah let's have a look at the second boss now okay guys so this is uh, like the second world boss which is a helicopter so it's it's all 
based around uh, you know the level what you're doing so the first one was insects and we fought a giant spider the second one uh, was vehicles so we're fighting like a cutesy helicopter now this one's a little tricky at first but you can uh, work out the patterns quite easily uh, and uh, you know the, the the kind of hitboxes thing has is quite generous as you saw I was kind of very close to it I was running into the corner and it was uh, all good so you know you can you can use uh, like a variation of different attacks you can attack it with uh, with the rainbows or you can plant the rainbows strategically and just kind of jump up um, but yeah this is uh, this is the second boss and uh, here we go we've uh, we've done it so next up we'll look at like the third world and uh, that'll kind of be like the ending of our video and the third world's really really nice I won't say what it is yet until you see it on the video but you work it out as soon as you see it and uh, you kind of um, you kind of like you will like the, the the theme that you're going to see okay <laughs> here you go we've got some frankensteins here so we're gonna have like monster mash we've got the bats uh, and you're gonna see like all different ones there you're gonna see like the the draculas the frankensteins and i don't i don't even know all the different kind of monsters uh there uh, but yeah guys this this is rainbow islands um, definitely check it out there's a few different versions of it uh, or a few different it's, it was out for a few different machines now i mainly played the commodore amiga version like i mentioned um, the pc engine version uh, the pc engine cd version is really really good and because it's pc, PC engine cd uh, the soundtrack is really really good uh on that and again like i say i really can't wait for an arcade call for, for of this game being released because i think that's when i'll actually uh, maybe replay it and go all the way through and it's not super cheap in the arcade it's not like you can continue and you you know you just pop up on screen um you know when you continue you kind of i guess there's like kind of like checkpoints in there or you know you you can't continue on the boss and just start attacking the boss you you have to do the boss with with one life if you die on the boss you kind of start it again which which i kind of like and dislike for the arcades you know dislike because if i just want to brute force a game and want to see the ending i can't do it you know but if if i want the challenge and, and i want to get through it even if i've got unlimited credits there's uh, uh you know a little bit or there, there's there's a there's there's an amount of skill required to complete the game uh, but guys, I'm going to wrap up the video here. Uh, definitely check this game out. Hopefully you guys will get, uh, you know, further. And uh, you've seen the first three worlds. And uh, hopefully you'll, uh, you'll complete this game. But do let me know your thoughts on this, what you played it on. And, uh, you know, um, any kind of experience with this. I never experienced this in the arcade. For me, this game was an Amiga game. Oh, sorry, before I go as well, one thing to mention, uh, you've got to do everything fairly quickly, uh, because if not, there you go, you end up uh, getting that water at the bottom, which, which kind of drowns you. Uh, but guys, that was it for the video. If you enjoyed the content, consider subscribing to the channel, and I'll see you in the next video. Pixel, Cherry, Ninja, out.